Hey my little shamrocks and welcome back to my kitchen. I put a poll up on my Instagram asking if you wanted to see a video for homemade tortillas or homemade oat milk and tortillas. One, very, very close though. This actually works out perfectly because we are leaving to go camping in a couple of days and I was gonna make a batch of tortillas to take with us. So they are so simple to make. I will tell you, there's four ingredients. Five ingredients, five ingredients, probably all this stuff you have in your house, maybe not, maybe you're not weird like me and you just keep a hoard of baking supplies in your cupboard because I do. Like I said, they're really simple to make and I guarantee you that you will thank yourself for making them because I like them better because then I know what's actually going into them and there's not all those unknown ingredients that they put in a lot of stuff. It's really hot in here right now. I turned the AC off because you can hear it in the background and I'm just babbling for no reason. My kitchen's a little bit of a cluster fudge right now because we're getting ready to go camping in a couple of days so I have stuff everywhere. I seasoned one of my cast irons for the trip and I gotta season the other one. That's a whole other video that I'm going to do. Let's get making our tortillas. Do, 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 Hey kids, voiceover Kristen here. So you want to get all your ingredients out. You're going to need AP flour, baking powder, salt, butter that's at room temperature. This is very important. And you're also going to need some water. I'm using a stand mixer fitted with a dough hook. You can also use just a regular bowl. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. So, in your bowl, you're gonna mix two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and half a teaspoon of salt, as well as your one tablespoon of butter at room temperature. So with a dough hook on your stand mixer, you're just gonna mix until the butter is kind of incorporated. It doesn't have to be all the way incorporated, just a little bit. And then you're slowly gonna wanna start pouring in 3 fourths of a cup of water into that. The water room temperature is fine. So you wanna slowly pour your water into your dry mixture. Keep increasing speed on your mixer until all your water has been poured in and then you want to let it go for uh, one to two minutes until the dough starts to come away clean from the sides of the bowl. Important to note that your dough is going to be very sticky at this point, but don't worry, is that don't worry, it will not be as sticky once you lay down flour. Now, on a lightly floured surface, you're going to give it a few kneads just to get into a nice smooth ball. The amount of tortillas that you want and the size of the tortillas you want is all dependent on the size that you cut your dough. I usually go for about 10 smaller tortillas. So I take my dough ball and I cut it in half and then I form kind of like logs almost. So I have a more even sort of base to go off of. Four cuts gives me five pieces. So I'll get five pieces out of each and I'll get 10 tortillas, obviously. And I kind of size them up to make sure that they're all the same size. If not, I'll take dough from one chunk to another. And then I'll do the same with the other side. And you're gonna to wanna to roll all your chunks into nice symmetrical balls. So then you're gonna to to take a rolling pin or even an empty wine bottle or even a full wine bottle, whatever you have, to roll your tortillas out. Now, I will tell you right now, I have never gotten a perfectly round tortilla and I don't really care that I've never gotten a perfectly round tortilla because I will tell you again and again that homemade tortillas are just better. They are just 
better. So you want to go and roll out as thin as possible because they will start to puff up when you start to bake them. The last time I made them I did make them a little bit thicker and I don't really mind that but I tried to get them as thin as I could here just so that you guys could see how thin that they really should technically be if you were buying the ones that were like in store made. Obviously I messed this one up but I fixed it. Don't worry. I fixed it. It was still edible. So in a pan on medium to medium high heat, you're going to want to lay your tortilla down flat with nothing underneath, no butter, no spray, nothing, because you want to get that really nice browning texture on the one side. And the butter or anything kind of spray like that will just make your tortilla soggy. We don't want soggy tortillas, do we? No, we don't. I don't really have a time for this. It's really honestly just until the tortilla starts to brown on one side and then you flip it over and do the same thing. So it's probably about, I want to say, two to three minutes at most. Any more than that, you're going to have really, really overdone tortillas. And also don't mind my dirty stove because I was not paying attention. And also Jesse makes breakfast for himself every morning and never cleans up after himself. So you see all those nice little brown spots that you get? That's what you're aiming for. So you want to do that on both sides and then you have a finished tortilla. You can just keep going with the rest of them. And then you have 10 perfectly delicious tortillas for your next dinner. Well, this is only eight because I ate one and dropped one on the floor, but there you go. So easy, so simple. You have no excuses not to make tortillas when you have tacos next. Thank you so much for watching my little shamrocks. Oh, can, can you tell that I actually made tortillas? <clears throat> I will see you in the next video.